Hi everyone, um, this is a video about, uh, about the ban of all reptiles, or not reptiles, um, my bad, of all pythons. Uh, this mostly started when that two year old girl got strangled by the Burmese python. And that person just screwed everything up for all reptile keepers and businesses because there's a very high chance this bill could pass as with the Senate and with this people will still be out of jobs but they're attacking every part of the reptile community first they're going to start off with the pythons and it just keeps on adding up to all the reptiles are gone and to me, I think it, it's not really fair because one person screwed up, but it's not fair for that little girl to lose her life. But the Burmese python really doesn't know any better because that's what it was made to do, was to strangle and get its prey. But they're always, they're also there for us to look at, but if you're not taking care of your pet, you shouldn't have one. Which really, it's almost like HR six six nine, but it's going to keep on coming back and attacking other reptile, people, other reptile people, because it's just starting off with pythons. Next, it's going to be all maybe all lizards, but it's. It, it's really hard to, difficult to explain to people that don't know anything about reptiles or being naive about have about reptiles. They they are smart. They can be as nice as a puppy dog. It, it, if you don't have any experience with reptiles, don't start off with a big. 20 foot snake that you, you get when it's only maybe 10 inches and then a few years later it's 20 feet maybe eating large prey and you're not housing it correctly and it can get lost and cause harm to people, wildlife or anything and it, it just destroys all the food chains that go on in ecosystems that are already stable but adding a new thing that has no natural predators is a problem for that ecosystem or people in general and this is just a short video I heard about it I have two leopard geckos but a ball python and anything with any python is going to be banned you can't trade it over state lines you can't bring it over state lines can't buy them, and but I mean uh, it's understandable for maybe a Burmese, but or a reticulated. Maybe they should have an age limit, or they should have checks on that animal, maybe monthly, to see if it's being housed and cared correctly. So no screw ups can happen to other reptile owners. Because I want to expand my horizons. And a little kid, maybe he wants to get into animals, but say a, a gecko is boring to him, they could have gotten a ball python, but it's not work, it won't work, because if that bill passes, that kid won't be able to get interested in reptiles and know more about it. And it's a little upsetting, because people are being naive, I guess, to actually knowing about reptiles, like I said. I say my geckos are pretty smart. Anyone can say they're animal smart, but they actually seem like they acknowledge you almost like some rodents do, like a guinea pig, how it squeals when you come into the room, because it's either acknowledging you're there, or it wants to come out and hang out with you. And... It, I don't know, I, 
not, I don't want this video to be long, but just know what you're getting into before you buy it. That's the main thing you want. Because one one day it'll be very small and then it'll be huge. And you, you, if you didn't do your research, don't just impulse buy because that's, this is what's screwing up our community and those screw ups can lead to our loss of animals that we love or anything so uh, I just want to make this video you can probably go to Muff Daddy TV I'll put a link up to his profile because he probably knows more about it than I do I found out from him and I want to say thanks for watching